USS Narwhal was ordered to move into the North Sea. Her orders were to search for and destroy a pack of Soviet diesel-electric submarines. These waters will be very dangerous to operate in, primarily due to how shallow it is. Despite the tough conditions, I firmly believe USS Narwhal will be able to hold her own. With six Mark 48 torpedoes left and no mosses, USS Narwhal maneuvered to engage the enemy. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Cold Water series playing with the Narwhal. We are tasked with sinking a wolf pack of Soviet diesel electric submarines, and we have quite a few sound contacts already. Sierra 2 seems to be an enemy trawler. Let's see what Sierra 3 is. And additionally, we should also note the floor is at 426 feet, so rather shallow compared to the waters we have been operating in. And right off the bat, it looks like Sierra 3 is a tango. Con sonar, Sierra 3 is classified as looks like submerged submarine. Sierra 1 is Con also sonar, a tango. Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. And over here we have Sierra 4. Kind of looks like a... It looks pretty loud. Wondering if it is just a merchant ship right off the bat. Might as well check here. Um, yes. Con sonar, Brawler. Sierra 4 is classified as merchant. All right, two tangos. Easy peasy, I suppose. Let's turn into them. Right two, two, zero, seven, Get nine. ready to launch once our solution builds up here. Submarine. Okay, well, it looks like I misidentified Sierra 4. Instead of a merchant ship, which I figured it was, it turns out to be a Romeo. Uh, so we have two tangos and a Romeo. Keel. Okay, 200 feet below the keel. Good to know. We did drop down to 250 feet. And I was about to shoot because I think, yeah, we are in both of these tangos baffles. Um, the Romeo is going to be problematic. So I could shoot at Sierra 1 and Sierra 4. I think that's going to be my best bet. Let's get tube one and two ready to rock and roll. Our total ray retracted. Yeah, conditions are unsafe. That's fine. Okay, tube one. We'll shoot it towards Sierra one. Tube one away. Tube two. We'll shoot for Sierra four. Run a dog like it though. There we go. Tube two away, going around the bow of the ship. We can only fire two Mark 14 or 48s, excuse me, not Mark 14s. That's a slightly different torpedo. Uh, <laughs> a little, little less sophisticated. Um, but no, we only want to shoot two Mark 48s because we only have two wires available, and I'd rather utilize our wire guided capabilities. Let's go ahead and set up tubes three and four though. Get them ready to rock and roll, mainly to take out Sierra 3 down there. We're going to dogleg the second torpedo as well. Just to may it throw them off maybe a little bit. We'll see. Okay, our torpedoes are closing in on their prey, and my goodness, it is getting pretty shallow over here near these guys. Um, this torpedo is going to activate relatively soon. And CR1 is definitely going to hear that. I'm honestly surprised CR4 has not picked up our fish. She's just cruising. Not too worried about it. I wonder if there's Gun another... Sonar. There we go. Sierra 4 is cavitating. I heard something launch a torpedo as well. Yeah, something's shooting. Yeah, there we go. Sierra 3 is firing two fish our way, and she is using active. All right. Well, time to uh, sonar, Sierra activate our torpedoes. Sonar, oh, gosh. From Sierra 4. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good at all. Um, let's change course. New heading, 165. Okay, we have a new sound contact, Sierra 5. Uh-oh. What are you? Submarines, Tango. Recognize it. 
Our torpedo is being slightly thrown off by a noisemaker. We'll turn it back in. Consonar. Gotta take these guys Sierra out ASAP. Is cavitating. Tira 5 is cavitating. It's super shallow here. These, uh, these diesel electrics definitely going to be cavitating quite a lot as torpedoes are fired their way. And it looks like right Sierra Force torpedoes two, were seven, fired seven, off to the L9. east, which is kind of Consonar. far no away from our bearing. position. Two, one. Five. I don't need to be too worried about those by the looks of things. We'll see where CR3 fired hers. Also, we have to remember we don't have too many torpedoes to play with. We went into combat with six torpedoes uh, in total. Okay. And... It missed? Uh-oh. Alright, our torpedo number two has acquired the Romeo. Mark 48 swinging around. Bring it around town. Con, and we'll, uh, we'll get it to control. hit the target. She's defensive. She's not firing any more torpedoes our way, which is uh, reassuring. Alright, here we go. And that's all she wrote. Zero 01 is going down. Alright. Get tube 3 ready. Tube 3, fire. Yeah. All right, tube three's away. Hey, these two torpedoes are heading north. Say, left two, one, eight, three, hang nine. out, turn south. Let's see here. Let's get this torpedo in towards the Romeo. Who is awfully close to running aground here. Uh, she's okay though. They know what they're doing. I think we'll be able to evade these torpedoes rather easily. Uh, this one is slightly more concerning, I suppose. That uh, may be a problematic torpedo. Sonar, noisemaker bearing two, three, six. Yeah, the noisemaker is not going to save you, my friend. And once this uh, torpedo lands home, we will fire at Sierra 5. And that will be four diesel electrics uh, wiped out. Weapon there we acquired. go, weapon acquired. Let our Mark 48 run in. Looking good. Impact. All right, and with that, we are going to shoot tube four towards Sierra five in her general direction, and we'll have it run past Sierra four just so it doesn't hit the wreck. Oh my God, did I really just do that? I accidentally fat fingered R, which cut the wire on that torpedo. Well, <laughs> I guess we'll find out. That is uh, annoying. Oh well, we'll see if uh, the torpedo lands home. Well, we may have had a minor mishap with our torpedo. However, it looks like the Soviet torpedoes have just gone right past us and did not acquire us, which is good. So there is that. I meant to actually reload tubes one and two over there. Um, if this torpedo misses, we can always fire another one. We do have one more torpedo we can use. At least, or two more torpedoes, excuse me. I'm not too confident. Con, this will two, hit, one, we'll ready. see. We have another torpedo heading our Come way. Right it looks like Sierra 5 two, launched five, some more one, torpedoes nine, our nine. way. And there's uh, that downed Romeo. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised this torpedo has not acquired. Let's turn it in a little bit. Give it a little bit of motivation. And, yeah, change the course of our boat. I don't know, this may actually work Con, out rather well. It should activate bearing, relatively two, soon. Zero, Con, fire control, weapon, countermeasure, homing. Okay. Yeah, everything's looking good here. Dude, this trawler, I bet, is mildly concerned seeing just large pillars of water Con, come up on the surface. Two, two, as there's a 
bunch of submarines fighting down here. All right. Let's turn in towards Sierra 3. You can run, but you can't hide, buddy. They're, they're still banging away on active, so that's, that's helpful. I am worried about this torpedo a bit. Our torpedo has activated. We'll see. I believe it's only using passive sensors as well, so... All right, guide it in. Con sonar lost contact. Got him. Zero three, last bearing two, zero six, contact breaking up. All right, our Mark 48 is pretty close to Sierra 5 and seems to be causing issues. It just got distracted by a noisemaker, but she is coming around town. This torpedo is mildly concerning. Looks like it'll pass us. Hopefully, we will see. Thankfully, the narwhal is quite quiet. Let's rig. No, we'll, we'll maintain this. Oh, my gosh. That tango almost ran aground there. We'll see if we can uh, get a hit here. This looks pretty darn good. We're definitely going to have to RTB after this, that's for sure. Hopefully that noisemaker doesn't throw off our torpedo too much. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, man, we lost contact. Looks like our torpedo's turning in, though. Got him! There we go. Go to the surface and see that. Fantastic. Another one bites the dust. And that is the entire wolf pack taken care of. Now we really just have to worry about this here torpedo. Rig for ultra quiet. For ultra quiet. Let's see if it'll turn in towards us. Hopefully not. And it's banging away on active. But it looks like it'll run right past. Yep. I think we are in the clear. Come left Make a slight two, course change. One, four, helm, and we should be clear to leave combat relatively Con, soon. Helm. All right, folks. And with that, we are clear to leave combat. Uh, three Tango sunk, one Romeo sunk, 13,000 tons sent down to the bottom. We are very low on ordnance. We have two Mark 48s and no mosses. Eight uh, harpoons though, so I guess there's that. Let's continue on. Excellent job, Commander. Believe me, no one wanted to send a nuke boat into those shallow waters, but we had no other options. You and your crew performed superbly under very difficult circumstances. All right, well, thank you very much. Continue. Red subs overestimated? It would certainly seem so. We are doing extremely well. Another wolf pack of cruise missile submarines is going to attempt to break out into the North Atlantic. Okay. Uh, patrol green 12 and green 14. Continue on course. So we should be able to move up, rearm at Holy Lock, and, um, and go out back out to sea. Well, folks, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.